Good morning friends, I am getting breakfast right now. I am not sticking to my um, kind of meal plan, I guess, that I have for my normal work week. Today I was kind of lazy. I don't like how these little hairs are sticking out, oh my gosh. Um, I had a couple things to do this morning, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rush out of here and do those things, so I'm just gonna grab something. I got an horchata latte. Boy, that is so overexposed, you can't see. Ah! Let me see. There we go. I got an horchata latte. And I got some cinnamon toast, which is basically, um, like, cinnamon butter on some toast. It's very good, not very healthy, but it's honestly like the only food item that kind of calls to me on that specific menu from that coffee shop. Okay, so I thought I had things to disinfect or put in the quads, but I actually still have them good to go. So um, I forgot that I had done a big batch before I left. So I don't have to do that, but I was thinking since I do have time since I'm here um, kind of early, I was thinking maybe I should just get ahead of the game and wash my makeup brushes even though I'm not looking forward to it, I would get it over with. I came in and I saw I have a package and I don't remember what this is. So, oh. feels kind of wasteful but um, it's just one drill bit. I think this is my extra course drill bit. I hate how these, the Melody Susie ones don't tell you. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, definitely extra course, but I, I'm telling you, there's nothing on here. It says Melody Susie, but there's nothing on here that tells you what um, what grit it is or what, you know, I'm talking about. Anyways, I don't think I showed this in the last um, video. It is so cold in my room. We're having like a dispute with our landlords. The heater just doesn't work, basically and we tried getting them to fix it and they're trying to say like we need to fix it and we're like no it's your job so because of that i am stuck in a freaking ice box right now it is currently 50 degrees in this room and i am freezing this is my only little heater that i have for my room and honestly i had it since last year but i feel like I don't know if I have to clean a filter or something on the inside, but I feel like it's wanting to give out on me because I have to be like super close for it to kind of warm me up. Wash these really quickly. I'm going to dunk the bigger brushes that have like foundation and stuff into some Cinema Secrets. If you guys have never used Cinema Secrets, it literally like melts makeup off the brushes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of Cinema Secrets in a cup. So I'm going to get a little bit of water going. And I'm just going to show you guys with one brush first and then I don't that way I don't have the water running for too long. But I am going to dip the brush in here, kind of squeegee some out and then swirl it onto the pad right here. Put some water on it. a little bit more you can just see how like quickly that makeup's breaking down and then as a final I will then go in with my baby shampoo and swirl the shampoo onto the brush and there we are a very very clean brush and like I said, I'm gonna um, go ahead and do like a couple brushes at a time. That way I don't have the water running, but I wanted to show you just with one brush what my process is gonna be like. And then just as before, I'm going to put the brushes onto my towel and then I will go back to clean the handle as well. Welcome to the voiceover, guys. We're doing a fill set. This was her winter set that she had. And I'm actually doing one of my favorite tricks right here. I like to keep some old nippers that no longer are good for cu cutting cuticles, but they're great to still use for rhinestones and pearls. So I'm just nipping those off really quickly before I go in with my drill so I won't damage my drill bit. And I'm just lightly taking off 
that gel i'm not really trying to debulk too much acrylic i feel like she had a, a good amount of acrylic it didn't have to be thinned out or anything next i'm going in with some young nail swipe and a lint free wipe and rubbing that around my thumb and really getting in the edges of the cuticle just to make sure that all that dust is out of the um crevices right there and then i will be going in with my dehydrator one of my tricks i love to do with dehydrator is use disposable lip brush applicators you'll see those in a second i get these from amazon and i use one brush per hand and doing this you think that you got all that dust off with the lint free wipe but what I find is that this actually really keeps the dehydrator super clean and dust free because that could definitely be part of a retention problem. If you are getting dust into your dehydrator, you're just reapplying dust and it's a little bit of a contaminant. By the time I do the dehydrator, I definitely feel like all the dust is off. So I'm, I feel comfortable going ahead and um, using the Young Nails brush directly on the nails bear with me on these angles guys i'm next going in and just doing the fill i didn't show too much of that process because these angles were not getting it but i went in with my joe bent and my hand file afterwards to shape up those nails and i always apply a base coat after i'm done filing and about to paint i find that this is the best thing for my retention as far as gel to acrylic i know some people don't do a base coat they just go straight in with gel and i used to do that but for whatever reason i find just having better retention having that base coat i went in with this limited edition tracy nails they don't sell this anymore unfortunately but i think it has an absolute like just gorgeous shimmer to it and then i went in with some black stars as well i was using a sumika black gel on this particular pinky but i was definitely struggling with this black gel i don't normally go for this one um after i realized i was having problems with this gel though i went ahead and switched to the nail essentials black gel honestly one of my favorites my two top black and white gels i like to go in with for designs are nail centrals and valentino and this is how the set ended up coming out i think it came out absolutely gorgeous this was another client i had that day this was a christmas set a little rib red ribbon and we ended up going for this green uh cat eye look and i do believe that is a cat eye from valentino and Karaskaya uh together this is my next client. This was her holiday set. Obviously, you can tell these are all my clients coming back with their holiday sets and changing them out. Um, this client, I definitely had to kind of do a little bit more work with for her fill. Um, I feel like on her other hand, her pointer finger has been having some problems, but the rest of her nails do pretty good. So I'm just going ahead and filling. I'm using my Glamorous Nude from Valentino. I keep saying Valentino and I completely forget that they switched to V Beauty Pure. So I am using my V Beauty Glamorous Nude Acrylic. It's the acrylic that I use for all my sets. I just find it's the best nude acrylic for everyone across the board. I know I'm speeding through the process here, but I just wanted to show you guys some of my clients and some of the work and in the process type of thing. I absolutely love doing these types of videos i do a lot of these kind of voiceover work with me videos for instagram um so if you guys want me to do more in-depth videos please let me know i can actually post just like a work with me video solely alone it won't be like part of a vlog um since i was vlogging this whole week i just wanted to include some of my client work that i did within this week so you'll see more of some nails and actually lashes in this video that i did but like i said if you guys want me to do more in depth i absolutely love doing it you guys should let me know
I do have base coat already prepped on these nails. I didn't show doing that part. And then I went in to do some Frenchies. I am using the V Beauty uh, gray silver cat eye on these nails. And I'm just doing Frenchies on the thumb, index, and pinky. And then I go ahead and do a kind of swoop uh, design on the middle and ring finger. And I do it nail by nail. So I will do, I will paint one nail and then use the cat eye magnet and then pop it into the lamp. And while that one's in the lamp, I will move to the other hand and go back and forth. That way the cat eye effect isn't shifting while I'm working on the next finger. It is kind of freezing in place when it goes into the lamp. And this is what the set came out looking like. I think these came out so gorgeous. Let's brush these curls out. Um, so right now, I have a Target pickup order to go do before we head over to work. And I also have to run over to Smart and Final because I am out of the paper towels like the pull down paper towels that I have for like in my little client um, wash hand wash station. So I need to go pick up those because I think I'm on the last roll and I think it's gonna run out either today or tomorrow. So I definitely need to do that. I got this Room Central 4 drawer dresser. I want it to replace this area right here. So this is like my little, what would you call this? Retail area, I guess. Um, originally I did have like a couple things right here. I don't normally have these bottles right here, but originally I had a couple things right here. I decided to clean it off. I used to have two of these in place of this area. And I really like the idea of having everything covered up. Ever since I had this thing where like everything is covered up, I love it so much more. Same thing, I used to have one of these as my side cart over here. And even though this area is open and like it's in reach, the rest of it is covered up, which I really, really like. And then on top of that, on the wall, I'm thinking of putting um, a shelf and then on that shelf I can put my retail stuff. Guys, one thing that I will say about making videos and filming is getting used to doing this, um, doing this in public and even at the salon, like I don't know if you guys can tell, some of the clips when I'm at the salon, I'm like being a little bit quieter just because I do work have co-workers there and even though I'm all the way in the back um I work with hairstylists so like the color room is near the back. I feel like you can tell a big difference from my last video to the first video I posted. As far as like projection goes I feel like that first video once I started editing it I became more self-aware of how I need to work on my projection. I feel like naturally as I don't know Naturally, in my day-to-day, -day, I'm not trying to project my voice either. I feel like I just kind of talk in a more mellowed out voice. So, realizing that I have to project enough for the camera to pick up is a little bit of a change, but it's definitely something that I'm like trying to be more aware of.
Welcome to the lash portion of this video. This is one of my lovely clients that I do brown lashes on. I don't know why I filmed from that angle because I didn't film an after of that angle, but she came in pretty, pretty full. She was missing a couple spots in the middle of both of her eyes, definitely more on her right eye. Um, but I did go ahead and prep her eyes and that was me lashing and I wanted to share this little tip in case you guys don't do this um, One thing that I find helps so much and feels so refreshing is using Saline solution on my clients after I finish doing their lashes If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial of this, I will definitely add it into the next video but I just go ahead and dry her lashes as i normally would after i'm done and then go ahead and use the saline solution and then dry her lashes again afterwards and they just fluff them up so well and this was her after like i said i didn't get a good enough angle of her before from this angle as well but take my word for it absolutely gorgeous and such a difference of a fill my next client here i did a lash lift on she's one of my regulars for a lash lift when she started coming to me she did mention to me that her lashes kind of take a hard time to take a curl so i do take that into account i want to show this little trick that i do when i am using a packet i don't do lash lifts too often um together so i do use only one packet per client I know if you have clients back to back, you can use the same packet on them and I wouldn't recommend doing that trick. But this was her after. I think they came out so good. And I thought it would pop in this little lash client that I did. I didn't get an in between, but that before and after, are you kidding me? Love. Okay, so this is the new setup for right now. Um, the fridge will be staying here, and then I think these um, two, ew, it has a little lotion boogie. <laughs> um, this will be staying here as well, I believe, just because I used to have it over here. And then of course the mints will be staying here, I need to refill this. But all of this extra stuff right here will be going on the two shelves that I'm planning to put right here. and. The two shelves that I'm going to get are going to be, um, they're going to be this shelf. So opening up this first drawer, I have like my extras of retails here. So this is all the stuff that is sitting on this tray. And then this is kind of like extra back stock. I do keep most of my back stock in my Alex drawer on my nail desk, but these are taller bottles. So this is something that kind of needs to stay over here and then these just kind of don't fit in there as well so I keep them over here next drawer down is my press-on drawer so everything that I use to make press-ons I basically have in here I have all my um, nail boxes these are like some cards that I put into the package the nail glues the alcohol pads tape when I'm packaging um, mounting putty for the stands tape for the um, nails to actually go onto the paper and then like files and buffers and stuff that I add in there so that's this is literally just all press on I actually love that I have it all in one place because before I would have some stuff in the back room some stuff in here some stuff like it was kind of all over the place so I'm really happy I have that all together now next drawer keeps my towels um, this one I need to like refold but this one keeps my towels it's empty right now because i actually have the towels in the wash so i am waiting for those to come out of the dryer so then i can refill this i think because i have more space to fill up um towels before the drawer that i had my towels in it was literally like stuffed to the brim since i have obviously more space now i believe i'm gonna get more towels just last drawer is basically extras in a sense so this is my vacuum, all the extra attachments that came with the vacuum are in there, and then over here I have like a bunch of paperwork and at the very bottom is my um, MSDS sheets. M Why do I feel like that's wrong? Material safety dash sheets, yeah. They're sitting in this binder down here. Okay, I just got back home 
from going to the mall and going to dinner. Um, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm just basically home and gonna start cleaning up. So I feel like that's pretty much how I'm gonna end up my week. I think I'm gonna start you guys back up tomorrow though. Um, it is uh, Monday is my day off as well. So I don't know, we shall see, but I do think I'm gonna end it here. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.